This week, the state of California is set to offer an official apology to Japanese Americans for mistreating them during World War II. As KPAX 5's under Mayor's reports, this comes nearly 80 years after 120,000 people of Japanese ancestry were rounded up and incarcerated in concentration camps all over the country. Well, some of the Japanese Americans who were taken away from their homes and businesses during World War II lived right here in San Jose's Japantown. Today, some of the survivors say they welcome California's acknowledgement of wrongdoing. They also say that it reminds them of some current events. It's never too late to acknowledge something that was wrong. Alice and Katsumi Hikido, who were both uprooted as young people during World War II and sent to concentration camps with their families, say they will accept California's apology. But the fact that uh, California is you know, recognizing their part in it and passing a resolution is very meaningful to all of us. Alice was sent to the Minidoka camp in Idaho and was separated from her father from the age of 9 to 13. Katsumi was 17 and went on to serve in the legendary 442nd Regimental Combat Team made up of all Japanese American soldiers. I thought they were wrong to do that to us and I wanted to prove that they were wrong. This week, the California legislature is expected to approve a resolution apologizing for its support of the executive order resulting in, quote, the unjust exclusion, removal, and incarceration of Japanese Americans during World War II. It was a, a situation where the Constitution was completely ignored. Both of Richard Conda's parents were incarcerated, and he says it's one of the main reasons he became a lawyer and founded the civil rights group Asian Law Alliance. I think that what's important now is that we see the same kind of things happening again, whether it be people who are Muslim or people on the southern border. Alice and Katsumi say there was a time when they never spoke about what happened to them, but they say California's apology helps give them a voice to speak out when they see other groups being targeted. Put people in camps and cages and separate families, that isn't the right way to approach it. And since we've experienced it, it seems like all the more important for us to speak out. In San Jose, Len Ramirez, KPIX 5.